everyone, so today we're going to talk through all things packing because packing for holidays or like a weekend away is one of my favourite things to do. Obviously going away is really nice as well. Unpacking is definitely up there in like the worst tasks in the world. I hate unpacking to the point where Mark has to like play a game with me when we're both unpacking where we have to like race each other because otherwise I will just lay like on top of the bed like fully clothed with my coat still on for like two hours and not want to move because I think unpacking sucks but actual packing I'm completely into that. And it's been on my mind because me and Lily are going to Birmingham next week for an overnight trip for Beauty Chat Live which I'm really excited about. So I thought today I would take you through my thought process when it comes to packing for an overnight trip. So I'm talking like a domestic trip just to see like friends or family for the weekend or just overnight or something like that. Obviously if you're traveling internationally or for a bit longer these can all be adapted for that but this is just quick overnight weekend away and I'm taking a lot of inspiration for this video from when me and Mark did long distance and I literally spent every weekend on a train up to Birmingham. So been there, done that, know how to pack. Now when it comes to packing I like to simplify it down into three different categories and that is clothing, beauty and then miscellaneous and if I kind of go through and pack in that way and in that process I find that I don't tend to forget too many things. So number one, clothing. Now my main tip here would be to look at your plans for the weekend and see what you've actually got on. You might be having a really chill weekend so you don't really need any fancy clothing or anything like that and you might just be able to wear what you wear up there, take a top, take another top, change of underwear and be done with it but you might find that you're going out on a night out or something so you need a more evening outfit you might find that maybe you're going to a spa or something so don't forget your swing costume so definitely just look at what you've got going on and I tend to plan my outfits for each day which I don't really like because I like to have a bit of variety but it's kind of nice just to know that you've got different outfit options and you know that you're not packing too much or too little so look for really like multitasking pieces a pair of jeans always in there a nice pair of heel boots that can see you through more of an evening thing or even just like a wander around the park those two things will always help you out <laughs> a few common things that I always forget are pajamas and like loungewear you don't want to be without those because if everyone else is just chilling and you're sitting there in your uncomfortable jeans you're going to be so jealous of their joggers also workout gear if you plan on getting any workouts in while you're away swimming stuff like I mentioned earlier and also pants and socks and just underwear in general you don't want to be without those in fact when my dad used to drop me off at sleepovers when I was younger he would like drop me off right outside and then wind down the window when everyone would come to the door and been like have you got your pants Anna. <laughs> and I was always just so mortified so it's very like ingrained in my brain not to forget your underwear don't forget your underwear now when it comes to actual packing if you've got a suitcase like I have here that's like on two sides I like to keep all my clothing on one side and just have that completely separate so there's no chance of any toiletries or makeup or anything like that exploding all over my clothes. So I tend to pop them on one side and then you can either roll them or fold them whatever you find easiest. I like to roll them because I find that it helps with any creasing. I place any pairs of shoes that I've got into a bag and then I pop them on the end of the suitcase where if I have the suitcase upright they're going to be at the bottom so they're not pressing down on any clothing. And then if there's anything that's really super hard to pack like you've got a hat or a big bag or a big coat that you can't fit in, just wear it, just sweat it out on the train. Now onto beauty and my biggest tip here would be to have a pre-packed toiletry bag. Now I've done this for about the last year and it has made packing for trips so much easier because I've already got a toiletry bag, I know what's inside it, I know that it's all good to go and I can literally just like lob it in my bag and it saves me about half an hour each time I pack of like decanting things into little bottles and making sure that I've got my razor and all stuff like that. I just have a bag and it is ready to go. I will list down below what is in this particular bag, but it contains everything, body care, skin care, hair care, everything is in there and my top tip would be to when you come back from each trip just to replenish your stocks in there so do that when you unpack and then when it comes to repacking for your next trip you are all good to go honestly this tip has just been such a good one and it has made packing so much more quicker for me now when it comes to actual makeup I don't have a pre pack bag just because I want to take my like current makeup favorites with me wherever I go but I do find that less is more you tend to not need 10 million primers and setting sprays and eyeshadow options and in fact I try and plan it out a bit like my clothing in terms of like okay I'm going out for a nice fancy meal and I might want to wear like a red lipstick for that but for every other day that I'm there I just want to wear like a lip gloss or something so I tend to take very basic makeup with me and plan it out that way hopefully you're not going to overpack too much and I would also recommend bringing tweezers and nail scissors they always come in so handy and I cannot even tell you how many times Mark always asks me if I've got scissors while we're away always so once that's all packed in and like I said I like to put that on the other side to my clothing and I tend to do what I do with the 
shoes as well. I put the makeup on the bottom so it's not weighing down everything on the top. But then I move on to miscellaneous things. Now this is basically everything else that doesn't fit into the beauty <laughs> and clothing categories and for me it always ends up being quite a lot of stuff because a lot of the time I'm taking all my photography stuff and video filming stuff with me so I've got to like shove my tripod in there somewhere but really you just don't want to forget your chargers I feel like that is like the main headline of this topic in fact on my notes I wrote that in capital letters don't forget chargers very important <laughs> another tip here would be don't double up on your electronics like whenever me and Lily go away I take a hairdryer she takes hair straighteners boom done <laughs> neither of us have had to take both of them along with us and I would also say when it comes to chargers and electronics and all stuff like that I like to pouch it up as well just so it's a little bit easier to find and it's not just swimming around <laughs> in my suitcase it just helps me to organize it all and make it a bit easier to find later on and my final tip would be to pack your headphones in your like travel bag and not in your suitcase because the amount of times that I've had to sit on a train and people are being really super loud and you just put your headphones in and it's like you're in another world. You won't even be angry at yourself for not booking those seats in the quiet coach. Come to think of it, quiet coach. That is my final tip. Quiet coach might just be the best invention on trains ever. So that concludes my weekend away packing tip slash random train of thought but I hope this video came in helpful especially if you're going away this weekend and let me know if you have anything else to add always up for more packing organizational tips you know I love that kind of stuff thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon with a brand new video bye <laughs>